Hello YouTubers, I don't know if you remember my school project. Here it is. It's, it was finished about half a year ago or something like that. It uses a ARM Cortex M3 processor here and it has a IRI here so it, it can receive the signals from the Apple remote. We have a small speaker and a large speaker. We're gonna use the large speaker today because we uh, want the camcorder to be able to pick up the sound. Here is the speaker jumper. We have a QVGA screen here and a power cord. As you can see it's a pretty neat wooden box here. Like that, and you will hear the music. A small start screen to show off the system specification. Yep. And here are the icons. So let's go to the menu. This is tic tac toe. I remember that I didn't finish this game because I didn't have to. My teachers uh, said it was good enough anyway. As you can see we can move the cursor up and down, left and right in all directions by using the uh, plus, minus, uh, backwards and forwards, previous and uh, next key here. Uh, if you want to go back to the menu. I got pawn. This is uh, the system is interrupt based, and uh, the the highest priority of interrupt is given to the IRI. So if I was to change back to tic tac toe, it will give the highest CPU power uh, priority to the remote, as you will see now. You uh, you can hear the sound is lagging and the picture is lagging. But if I press it just like normal people do, it is no problem. We got Pong. Yeah, let's try a piece of cake. And you can see the computer is working also. As you can see here is the bar for points, so if you were to give a point to the computer, the computer's point will uh, be higher. And uh, because there is no frame buffer or anything, it will flicker from time to time. And also because of the priority on the IR remote, we uh, can actually have super speed pressed down and we can see that my cursor is moving a lot faster than the computers. This is a bug, but hey, yeah, it's a simple game and I uh, just didn't think it was worth the time to remake some of the code for that. Just press it up and down. But uh, we have more difficult levels. So if we take die hard, which is minus, uh, you will see another and hold another speed on the ball, and the ball will start from the middle line here. And in the background, there's a, a counter that all the time goes up and down so each time the ball will start from different locations well should do yeah it does uh, also here uh, it's a uh, difficult even though we can have a hard uh, uh, high speed um, 
can see the computer is winning by a whole lot. But you might have seen the fourth and the last level. The CPU versus CPU on human speed. Let's try that and see what happens. Yep, this is pretty unhuman speed. You can see if we the ball is going over, we will refresh the score once in a while. And now <laughs> it can be quite nice to just make it silent. If we was to take this out, the CPU will think that we have uh, IR trans uh, transmitting uh, receiving all the time and will try to translate it. But because nothing is transmitting, it can't translate something. So let's take this back. And we're off again. So this is was the small game console. Tic tac toe and pawn. Let's reset the device again. And uh, as you can see, we can turn off the music, we can make it higher.